Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to episode 11 in my 12 week countdown to Christmas series. <clears throat> Today I'm going to showcase these fabulous cup carriers and cups from the Heartwarming Sweet Collection. You can find this on page uh, 8 through to 11. We're going to be concentrating on this set here, which is the Warm Hugs Bundle. This is the stamp set and these are the dies. And those are the wraps for the carrier, like so. So you need two of those and you need a pair each of this scallop trim and they are two sizes and the larger curve is for the top and the smaller curve is for the bottom. These dies are to cut apertures in there um, if, you, if you wish and these ones are like coffee beans and that's sort of like a rectangular pattern but we're not going to be using that today. These dies are for the coffee cup, the tree, the candy cane, the star and a heart. Carriers come in a pack of eight. They fold flat like that. There are also eight cups in a box. So in fact, if you want a pair of cups in each carrier, you'll have to order two boxes of this. The box is really easy to assemble. Unfold it and then you start with um, the U-shape, then the two sides. And this tongue one last that tucks in and holds it all together and that's your box. The cup wrapper is from the Heartwarming Hugs designer series paper and um, there are six double-sided designs. This is a six by six inch sheet cut from a 12 by 12 inch sheet so that's the reverse of it. I sacrificed one of the cups in order to make a template, what I did was I cut the rim from there and then carefully peeled that back um, without tearing it. I laid it out and traced it on a piece of cardstock and added a quarter of an inch on the end for the overlap. You don't actually score on it. The inks I used was Mossy Meadow and Real Red. I cut some Mossy Meadow cardstock and Real Red cardstock in a 6 by 6 inch square. So in fact you can use the 6 by 6 inch packs of designer papers to die cut your wrap as well. The reason why I do that is because when you're fitting it through your machine you want it to feed it in this way so that the narrow end is facing north and south. It doesn't do your dies much good if you feed it in this way and <clears throat> if I cut it by six by six it means that what I can then turn it round and pop the other die this way so I can still run it through with the narrow end. I also use the stamp and cut and emboss embossing folder uh, the wrapped in texture ones. There are two designs and they're designed to go through the smaller machine which isn't available yet but we can still use this on a standard machine. I use the real red braided linen trim to tie the marshmallows in and also the striped uh, diagonal ribbon from the same suite. I also want some scraps of Whisper White and Crumb Cake in my label, like here. And I've already traced and cut out the wrapper for the cup and I've put double-sided tape on both sides, both ends. I'll only demonstrate doing the one cup, otherwise it will make the video too long. We're also going to be using the glitter star ornaments that goes with this sweet red rhinestones to decorate the tree. The delightful tag topper punch. I chose to use cardstock to decorate the thing rather than use up the designer series paper. I thought it was a bit wasteful. These measure five and five eighths by two and one eighth 
and you need two pieces in real red. This real red piece you don't emboss um, because it's the first layer that goes on and for the side panels this measures two and five eighth inches by two and one eighth inches in metric that's 6.4 by 5.4 centimeters. We also need the mossy matte layer to go on top and this is slightly smaller. It's 5 and 3 8 inches by 1 and 7 8 inches. That's 13.7 by 4.8 centimetres. I'm going to emboss these and to emboss this you just use a standard sandwich because these are just a standard folder. So you need platform 1 your base platform and two of the platform threes one on top of the platform one then your fold embossing folder with the cardstock sandwich in between followed by another platform three just a tip I keep my embossing uh, plates separate um, they don't have any cut lines on them because it will mark the um, piece of cardstock you're trying to emboss so I do keep a spare pair just for embossing. The side panels measure two and three eighths by one and seven eighths in metric that's six centimeters by 4.8. We can now glue these on top and I'll fast forward it. While it's still flat, I'm going to use a handheld punch and punch a hole about halfway in the handle so I can tie my tag on. Then I can assemble the box. The U-shaped one goes down first, then the two sides, and last of all, the, the towel. Okay, a bit of stamping. So I need the mat and some whisper white scrap. Ink up this stamp, uh, warm hugs to you. Stamp it here. And I'm also going to stamp the mug, followed by this pattern here. I'm going to die cut this element here, the uh, label, and also the sentiment and the cup. To make my sandwich, I'll need platform one, platform two, platform three, cardstock, pop that there. To cut a label, and I want to cut the cup. Is the cup out? And to complete the sandwich, another platform three on top, and I'm ready to run it through the machine. I'll do that off camera, and I'll be back. I've also set up my dies to cut the holder here. So I need platform one, platform two, which is the thin die adapter, platform three, um, the cardstock and the die cutting edge face down, and a second platform three, and I'm ready to run it through the machine. So I'll do that off camera. So I've die cut that. Now I'll need to replace this so I have to cut that first and then go back and now I've got the pair of the main wrap and these are the scallop edges I've got a pair of the longer ones so I'll need to have to die cut another small one in order to do that I now have to turn my cardstock around so it's facing this way and then pop my die on there and then run it through the machine again. Then I repeat it for the red piece of cardstock. So there are your contrasting colours, so you just swap them round. I don't want to have these bits embossed, so I'm just going to set those aside and we're going to be embossing these bits here. So I bring your scoreboard in and you just want to score along that tab. Now you want to emboss these, so with the logo at the top, you pop your wrap in 
with the tab sticking out and then make your sandwich again which is the platform one and two platform threes one at the bottom and one at the top so you have to do that for all four panels this is when you want to curl it so it goes round your cup and it's much easier to curl if this has been embossed. So next you want to put the trim on so I put some adhesive on there and then you can line that up and it should fit exactly without any problem and you do the same for this piece Make sure you've got the right side up. Then I'm going to curl the pieces. So I'll put double sided tape on there, uh, on the outside tab and on the inside of this one. Um, so join those together okay and in fact I'm going to put another piece on there to make sure it's secure I'm just going to set that aside until I'm, I've covered the cup I've taken the backing tape off this cup and I'm going to start to the left of this seam here and then hug the lip of the cup as much as I can make sure there's no gaps um, no yeah no air bubbles and then wrap it around the cup until I get to the end and then seal it and trim off any excess that's not too bad that's quite a good fit take the backing tape off there where the join is I want that on the seam here but I'm not sure how far up it should go so I just want to try the wrapper and that meat once I'm happy with the position then I can press that down firmly keep my hand firm on it so it doesn't move and take that off and then join it up like so okay so you've got the seam there at the back and then you can cover this up with this bit here so I'm going to curl that and apply a generous bit of glue on the front here and make sure that there's a generous amount of glue right on the edges here as well so there's no chance of it popping up then pop that over the seam on the front and hold it there until it bonds and put generous amount of adhesive on here as well make sure it's in the right position so basically you want those two dots uh, at quarter to three you curl the cup as well and put adhesive on there pop that in I filled the cup with this Galaxy Hot Chocolate fit the marshmallows inside I found these yummy candy canes they're actually alcoholic ones so there's gin, whiskey or mulled wine unfortunately it doesn't tell you what's what so I'm picking the green one because this is green paper um, and I'll just, oops, I'll twist that round, it's the wrong way round. And just pop that in there. 
So you've got the stirrer as well. To make the tag I used the delightful Tag Topper Punch and cut a strip of 2 inch real red cardstock which is 2 inches wide um, put it into the punch and punched it. I trimmed it down to 4 inches cut it about half an inch up and then made a flag end cut a bit of crumb cake cardstock 3 inches in length and 1 inch in width and again made a shallow cut so a quarter of an inch I think this time have to stamp that separately I'm not going to put it on dimensionals because it just gets knocked off so easily and then position this in the middle put a dimensional on the back of the tree and one with at the tip with just a little bit jutting out so that it will hold the rhinestone and cut off the excess Tie one of these on Then in the other cup I put these mini loca biscuits, they're wafer biscuits um, Tie that to the carrier So just thread one bit in Then pop this in. Before I go, I thought I'd show you. I used the a Wonder of the Season Memories and More cards. These have got the sort of um, cherry cobbler foil on it. And using the same stamp set, I made some simple Christmas cards. using the elements from it. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. I can't believe we're coming to the end of the series. Um, so thanks for watching. All the list of supplies are below this video in the show more section and you can read more about it on my blog at stampwithelaine.com. Thanks for joining me today and I'll be back soon. Bye! <laughs>